All right, we are at the Nick with Rebecca Weaver Hunt, and the exhibition is going to be on Neil Forsling. Neil Forsling through the artist's eye. And this is something special because anybody who knows a little Crimson Dawn uh, a history will know that she had something to do with it. Uh, you mean that Neil had something yes. to do with it? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, she was the woman who homesteaded the land, painted the paintings, created the Midsummer's Eve celebration, and then left the land to the county in such a way that all of that would continue uh, for as long as the county was willing to let it happen. So we do a Midsummer's Eve celebration every year. Uh, we exhibit the paintings through the summer, and we keep her story alive. And Rebecca, you've told a few stories along the way. You're the storyteller. I just finished my 30th year as the storyteller for Midsummer's Eve, although I am having an apprentice uh, learn, learn the ropes to take over. But uh, yeah, I followed after Neil's daughter, Mary, who followed after her sister, who followed after Neil. Well, and Neil, a, a woman of many talents, including the art behind you, but also kind of an author, a poet. She, she wrote a book of her experience on the mountain. She wrote, uh, I would probably say hundreds of poems about life on the mountain. She wrote an article for H.L. Mencken's Mercury Magazine on the subject. Uh, she was an environmentalist too. She was really, uh, keep, preserving the land up there was really important for her, which is why she donated it to the county. Well, the whole story of Crimson Dawn, um, she homesteaded the property. She did, and starting in 1929. And she called it Crimson Dawn because... Well, the way she tells it, she was walking in the woods with a bunch of the mountain kids, walked out of the uh, pine forest, saw this uh, open space with the red buttes, thought it looked like she was standing on the edge of an ocean, and the sun was just coming up, and she said, that is Crimson Dawn. Well, and, and the whole thing with witches and all the myths uh, and uh, stories that come from up there, it started with her trying it, to have some fun with her daughters. It did. She uh, actually built a little stone hinge on the Red Butte in 1929, told her daughters some stories that she was making up as she went, and then the next year had some mountain people with her, and then it grew. Um, she wanted to build on old European mythology, hence the summer solstice bonfire every year. She uh, wanted to build on things like the, the Lavender Storybook and, and Hans Christian Andersen. And so she, she told the stories to her daughters, and she thought the mountain was a perfect place to create seven fabulous witches and three elves and a leprechaun and and any number of other magical creatures well one of the things that makes this exhibit so special is it's not just the paintings that you can see at the museum up on the mountain but also some from private collections that's right mark yes a number of people bought her paintings over the years she had a studio up at crimson dawn and, and sold her paintings sometimes she paid her lawyer or, or her doctor with her paintings and now most, most of her collection is in the hands of her family, uh, but a lot of it is, is in private hands, and, and that's some of what we've collected for this show. All right, so people are going to want to catch this. It begins October 1st, I think. Well, actually, it opens this Friday, the we'll 24th. See. Uh, we're having a reception from 5.30 to 7.30. The exhibit will run through the end of the year. And it's actually opening in conjunction with a couple of other shows, that are also opening on Friday. So if someone comes down to the museum Friday evening, there's a lot to see. Neil Forsling and her exhibit, and Rebecca, you're working on a book. Oh, can't wait to think about that. Yep, it's it's my it's one of my next projects. All right, we so thank you for talking with us about this exhibit. It's going to be amazing. Come on down to the Nick and catch it, and uh, feel the storytelling go on around you. Okay. All right.